Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, I'm Jeanette from Body Wrestling and Crafts. In this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how I create these personalized wine glasses. This is done with etched cream. It's really cute. It's something that I had showed at one of my embroidery happy hours and people were asked, how did you do that? So I'm gonna show you step by step how I did this. This is a really, really big hit. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. These make really cute gifts to put on the dinner table. I use these in place of um, name, name cards. Sometimes people put name cards on the table to tell people where to sit. I like to um, entertain and when I do, I always like to create these little wine glasses with the guest's name on it and that way they get to know where they sit and they also get to the take this home with them and reuse it several times. It's really neat, it's a really, really big hit. And I'm gonna try to put something, let me try to put something behind it so that you can really see. And let me see if you can see that. I think that looks a lot better. Focus it in a little more. As you can see, I have the name Melinda on there. Isn't that cute? So this is actually etched in the glass. This is, you can, Put it in a dishwasher. This will never, never, never come off. It's not a sticker. This is not vinyl or anything like that. This is permanent. So this is really, really good, and it's a really cute gift. Let me show you how I make these, okay? And I want to make sure you guys can see the table because I do have a lot of stuff on the table, and I want to explain everything that I have. Okay, first of all, the wine glass, okay? I get these from Walmart. Back in the day, I used to get them for like 98 cents. They're probably maybe a dollar a quarter. You can also get them from the uh, dollar store. Whatever you get, you can get different sizes. They have big ones. You can do this on beer mugs and stuff like that. Whatever you get, make sure it's glass. This does not work on plastic or anything like that, okay? I have another one. I just washed it and stuff. You're, um, you know, make sure it's nice and clean. Even get some alcohol and some Q-tip and then just rub on the on the outer edge. And I'll be doing that while I show you how I make this. But um, this is one another one that I got from Walmart for 98 cents. Now, what is going to cause the magic of putting the name on the actual glass? It's called Armor Edge, okay? This is what I am using. And you can get this from Michaels. You can get it from Hobby Lobby. You can get it from Walmart. Um, you can even get it from Joann's. They have different sizes, okay? Now, this is the big size, and this is 22 ounces. The reason why I have the big size is because I make a lot of these. These are things that I do for gifts. Another little gift idea. You know, this is what I did one year. I did these wine glasses, put everybody's names on them, and then I filled them up with Hershey's Kisses. And then I just took a little plastic candy wrap, and you just put it on top with the candy inside. And I'm just make believe there's some candy in there. Put a the little plastic on it. Just twist it. And then sometimes you can get the little ties in like gold or silver or red or green. Just get the little nice colorful ties and just tie it. Put it on people's desk. So it's a nice little gift. You can do that for neighbors and stuff like that. That's another thing too. If you have neighbors, you want to give them a gift. This would be really, really cute with a bottle of wine and some Hershey Kisses inside. So anyway, um, yeah, there goes my door. I hate that ring. So anyway, um, I just wanted to show you, this is really, really neat. So anyway, like I said, you need your glass, right? Make sure it's glass, all right? And I was talking to you guys about the Armor Etch, okay? I got the 22 ounce, but I also wanted to show you it comes in a small size too. This is a three ounce, all right? So if you're just starting out, I recommend just get the small one, okay? I mean, and these last a very long time, okay? I'm gonna show you how you can really make this last. This doesn't go bad. This lasts for a very, very long time. Most importantly, while you are doing this, make sure that you get gloves, okay? Safety gloves, all right? And I'm gonna tell you why. We're gonna look at this right here. And I want you to pay attention right here. It says danger, causes severe burns, okay? Which may not be immediately painful or visible, but may be fatal and cause permanent damage to the skin, okay? So I am telling you, you got to wear the gloves. Wear the gloves. You don't want something to happen, and God forbid, 
you end up regretting it, messing up your hands and stuff like that. This is powerful stuff. This stuff etches the, gra the glass. So don't, you know, don't do this without having any gloves. So I have my gloves right here. Oh, and here's the tie. Here's the little tie that I was telling you about. You can get these. Um, you can get ties like these uh, from the Dollar Tree and stuff like that. Just get really pretty ties. Anyway. All right, going back to the thing. Now, what you're going to also need is your vinyl. The vinyl is what you're going to use as a template, all right? Now, the one that I use is the Oracle 651. You want the permanent. You don't want the temporary. You're going to want the permanent because you don't want the cream to to go underneath the template and then mark up the, the, the glass. You don't want any type of bleeding of the cream. And I'll, and I'll show you what I'm talking about when we're doing this, okay? So let me see. Let me make sure I have everything. Oh, another tip too. You want your alcohol and your swab, okay? And the reason being is because when you place the adhesive to the outside, of where you're gonna have your etching on, okay? You wanna make sure that it's clean as, very, very clean. You do that with the alcohol, so that way when this sticks, when your template sticks, it stick, it's a solid stick. Very, very solid. You don't want the cream to accidentally, you don't want this sliding, and you don't want the cream to go in areas it's not supposed to, okay? Because then you're gonna end up with, um, like I said before, bleeding, okay? All right, so what are we going to do? Now, usually what I'll do is depending on the glass that you want, because I have these other glasses that are here as well. Um, I was going to do these, but these are quite too small. What I like to do is I only like to use the top edge of the wine glass. And the reason why I do that is because you want to try to stay away from this curved area right here. Because when you are placing your vinyl, you want to prevent curves. All right, you want a, a, a surface that's going to be as flat as possible. So I usually try to use the upper portion of the wine glass when I do this, all right? So what you do is you're gonna go in your Cricut machine and you're going to print out whatever it is that you're gonna put on the wine glass, whether it's the name or the initial and stuff like that. Now, I had already cut it out here but let's go over to my machine so that I can show you a couple of things that you need to think about when you are doing this okay so I'm going to swirl this camera around you guys know my videos are raw so sorry but I'm trying I want to make sure that I show you guys all the um the steps all right now we're getting out of here hold on now, what we want is we want the cricket. Okay, here we go. All right, this was done. This is when I was cutting it. Awesome. Okay, now, what you do is you're going to take your font, whatever font it is you want, and you want to make sure that you measure it and it's in the right spots, okay? This is a 2 by 2 well, really a one by 1 by 1.4. I usually, what I'll do is I'll just reshape these and I'll make them small. And one of the things, a tip that I want to tell you is when you are printing these out, what you want to do is you want to use the function called weld. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, I'm going to do uh, another text, especially if you're doing words, okay? Like, I'm going to do words right here, Jeanette. Now, I'm going to make this a little bigger because I want you guys to see why I think it's important that you... Uh, that you do this so you guys excuse me because i got a new mouse here we go all right i'm gonna make this really really big okay now the reason why i'm gonna make it big is because i want to show you something about welding okay welding means that you're gonna want this whole thing to be like one piece all right when it starts to cut you want it to cut around all the edges okay it's not gonna cut inside any of these black edges that you see that you see like right over here. You don't want any cutting or anything like that to happen. And I'm gonna tell you why um, that's important. What I'm going to do is over here, and I'm gonna tell you where I'm putting my mouse. So that way, if you're following along on your computer, you'll see exactly 
where I'm going because I'm trying to make this so that you guys can really see everything. Okay, there you go. You're going to see a uh, little thing here and it says ungroup. So when you ungroup this, you're going to see that right here it broke down to every single letter, right? So that means that when I click here, I'm only clicking on the J, I'm only clicking on the E, and I'm only clicking on the A, right? Okay, now one of the things that I want you to see is I want you to pay attention to this E. I have the E highlighted, and I'm going to make this a little bigger because I really want you guys to see this, okay? This is important. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the E. Now I want you to pay attention to this portion right here of the E, okay? Look at this tail that's right here, all right? If you do not weld it, what's going to happen is Cricut is going to cut this E, including all of this tail. But if you saw when I push this back in, you notice that some of that tip of that tail becomes part of this letter A. Okay? So what's going to happen if you don't weld it, it's going to cut the E with that portion of the tail, and then it's going to cut the A. And then what's going to happen is you're going to have that little portion of that tail cut as part of that A. You don't want that. You want this whole word to be cut as one. You want this to be married to the tail of this A. And it goes the same with all of these. Okay, see how they connect? Let's go over to this end just so that you can see what I'm talking about. I have the end highlighted. I'm gonna push it up. This end has a tail as well, just like this E. This tail gets kind of married to the E that's right here, okay? All right, this tail becomes part of this E. You don't want the Cricut machine to cut all this tail. You just want it to cut enough where this tail meets the E and then cut around it. So that's what welding is, all right? So, and let me tell you, when you weld something, you can't ungroup it the way I just ungrouped it. Right now I was able to ungroup it because what Cricut will do is it will cut every single letter individually. I don't want it to cut individually. I want this to cut it as a whole word. That's when I'm gonna do the weld. So what I'm going to do now, is I'm gonna highlight the end. I'm gonna move it down. Okay, see how that, that portion, that portion came, became part of that E, okay? And then same thing. You're gonna see that portion of this, this E right here is gonna become part of that A. So I'm gonna go down. It married it, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select the whole thing Okay, and then down here, do you see it? No, you don't, okay. Down here, you're gonna see the option weld. You click on that, and if you notice, when I clicked at it, two things happened. All those individual letters went back. Now it's just one word, that's all it is. So now, there is no touching, it becomes one. So what's going to happen is the Cricut machine is going to cut. And when it cuts the tail of this E, it's going to stop right there, right where it meets the A. And it's going to cut this all as one piece. So that is very, very, very important because you are creating a template. You're going to be pulling out the, the word Jeanette and the template is what's going to go on the glass. And you want the cream to go everywhere where this black spacing is. That's where we want the cream to show on the glass. So that's why that is very, very, very important. So with that being said, okay, um, what I did, because what I want to do is I want to speed this up because this video can turn out to be extremely long, okay? And I know you guys just want the 411. So what I did was I just, I'm going to take this out. I just did the J and an F, but I'm not really going to do an F. I just want one, I want one for me. So I'm going to cut out the J, okay? And I did this on here, and I know you probably cannot see it because I have to peel it off, but there's a J in here. There is, there's a J in here. It's really hard for you to see, 
but this is the permanent adhesive. And now I'm gonna scroll you down. And this is what you're gonna do when, when you're looking at your, um, after you cut your vinyl, okay? Now, once you have this designed and stuff, you're going to do, you know, the vinyl, you're gonna cut the setting from your Cricut machine or your silhouette, you should know how to do that, okay? And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to weave my letter J out of here. Because I want the outside, I just don't want the J. Okay, so I'm taking out the J. There you go. All right, this I can throw out, the inner. What I want is I want the letter J. So I'm going to throw this out. So here's my template. Now, here's another thing that I do to make things a little easier. Now... I have been doing this for quite some time, so I kind of know how to do this. But for those of you that are starting, what you want to do is you want to cut this out, but you want space. You want to leave space between the, the, the template and this because you're going to be putting cream on here, okay? So cut around it, but leave space. Don't cut too close to the edge, all right? Like I have this, this is fine, okay? This is fine because see, I have space here and stuff. So now what we're gonna do is I'm going to, right now, I'm gonna take alcohol, I'm gonna take some cotton, okay? I'll show you guys how I do this. This is the glass that I'm gonna use, okay? And I just clean the outside. Okay, with alcohol. Because I know that with the alcohol, it's nice and clean. And I'm good, okay? All right, so this is good and clean. Got that. Okay, I'm going to try to position the camera so that you guys can see what, I, what I'm doing. All right, you guys are going to have to see me for a little bit. Okay, so, all right, let me show you what I'm doing now. So what you're going to do is, this is how I do it. I usually put it on my lap, okay, and I really hope you guys can see this. I just want to make sure you guys can see. Yeah, you can. Okay. This is, oops, I don't, I don't want to fall. Okay, here we go. So now this is nice and dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel. Well, better yet, this is what I usually do. Hold on, let me get transfer tape. Get some transfer tape. This is really the best way to do it. I haven't done this in so long. Oh my God, I haven't made myself a glass. All right, so this is some transfer tape. I get these from the bulk from Amazon. All right. So, like that. Okay, let me make sure it's nice and stuck. And then I'm just gonna peel this off. Now I got my wine glass, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put down where I want my J to be. There you go. And then you're gonna smooth it down. Now, there's something that I wanna tell you about when you do this, okay? Try to have absolutely no bubbles. I already see I have some. And I'm gonna go get um, something like a squeegee. You should have like a little squeegee or something um, to help you with the bubbles. There you go. There you go. Got it. Mm-hmm. 
okay? Now, I'm gonna put this up in front of the camera because I want you guys to see this because this is like the mega important. If you mess up here, then you're kind of like messed up. You just messed up the glass. But, um, okay, now I'm gonna peel this off gently, but I'm going to leave the vinyl on here, okay? All right, so now I got this. Okay, so, and I'm glad that I left this little bubble here because I want you guys to see what I'm going to do. Okay, here is the vinyl, and it's on the glass, right? But notice how here I have this little bubble. So I'm going to take this. What is very important is the cream is going to go where the letter J is, right where I peeled it off. This is where I'm going to put the cream, okay? Okay. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to, with this squeegee, I'm going to make sure that this is really pressed well. Because this is what I don't want happening, okay? When you put the cream, right, you don't want the cream to go underneath the vinyl. And if you have a bubbling opening, okay, like let's say this is peeled up and it's peeled up on this end right here and you have like a little bubble, the cream is going to get in there. And then what's going to happen is you're going to have what's called bleeding. And that is not what you want, okay? So as you can see, I flattened this out really nice and good. So the cream is not going to get under there at all, all right? All right, so now... Here is the other part now, okay? This, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna brush. And I gotta find myself a brush. All right, I'll use one of these. I can always go to the dollar store and get another one. It's okay. All right, you want a brush that is something like this. You want it small and you want to be able to control it. You don't want something that you can't control because what you're going to do is you're going to take the cream and you're going to gently put it on the, the, the spot right here. And that's why I say you want all this extra spacing over here because cream is going to get there and you don't want the cream to come here. So you're gonna want it to go right over here. So you're gonna be dapping it over here on all this section right here. And then you notice when you dap it over here, okay, where I had that little lift, I have it so flat that even when I dap it over here, the cream is not gonna get underneath the vinyl on there. And I'm not gonna have any type of bleeding. Now, I did have a brush that I was using that was specifically dedicated for that. But I don't know where it is. But so this is just gonna have to do for now. And that's okay. Um, let's see, do I have another one? Or maybe I could spare. You know what I'm gonna try to do? I'm gonna try to use this makeup thing. Cause I actually like using this brush for my embroidery machine. So I'm going to try to use this makeup thing. We'll just see how this works. I think it should. I think it'll work fine. Okay. So I'm going to use this small one. And now I'm going to shake it really, really good. You should shake it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Does it say to shake? It says stir before using. Okay. And I haven't used this in a long time. Okay. So like I said, safety. I'm going to put gloves on. I do not want to get burned or anything. So if you have kids or you have pets or anything around you, this is the time to, like, not be close to them, okay? And I recommend putting the gloves on both hands. Don't put it on just one because you don't want, you don't want to get hurt. You really don't. So... I'm putting it on both. I mean, this burns. I it's I've never gotten burned by it, but I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to find out. So, <laughs> all right. So, I'm gonna open this up, and I know this does 
crumble a little bit. Let me see if I can get a um, piece of paper. Here's a piece of paper. That way, if I have any excess, it'll fall on the paper. There you go. See how it crumbles a little bit? You guys can see that. See? Crumbles up a little bit. So, you know, because this does get dry. The dry part doesn't hurt or anything, but, you know. All right. So, here's the cream. And then I'm going to take this. And all you're going to do is dab. You're just going to put it on there. That's it. Just lay it on there. You're going to want to lay it as thick as you possibly can. Okay, because you don't want any uh, empty holes or anything. See how I dapped it? I mean, these make such cute gifts. I mean, I when I learned how to make these and stuff, I started making them for friends as we had them over for dinner. And they just fell in love with them. Everyone thought that was, like, so cool. You know? And I even did them for the ladies at the book club. So you're going to just dab gently. And then this is thick enough that it's not going to run down. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put that on there. I need some more right here. You want to make sure you cover all of it. Okay. And you're just, you're dapping it in there. You're dapping it in there and, and be generous. Don't be cheap. Because you want it to actually, you know, to look good. So there you go. Okay. And then as you can see, this does not run down or anything. But I want to, I want you to take a look at it real close. See right here, I have like little holes right here. See, so I should cover that. There you go. There you go. So you want to make sure it's nice and covered. Another trick that I do is turn it around. And then look at it from the back. And if you see like little holes or something like that, then that means you need to go over it again. Okay. But it looks pretty good. It looks like a solid J. And it looks pretty good. Okay. And usually I just move it around a little bit. And you don't have to leave it long. It's usually like a minute or two. These This works pretty fast. On the etching. Okay. There you go. So we're just going to let it sit for a little bit. And stuff. And then while we're sitting for a little bit, I can tell you, this is like really, really neat, you know. Um, and this is one of the things that I love about this, okay. This is dishwasher safe. This never, never, never comes off, okay? Because you actually etched up the glass, okay? You etched up the glass. This is not a vinyl because we're going to be peeling off that vinyl. So it's not like the vinyl comes off or anything like that, okay? So once again, once you're finished, what I do is before I take it to the wash, I usually go to this, right? And then what I try to do is I try to scoop up whatever cream I have on here. And then I just put it right back. I put it right back in the 
the thing. You can just scoop it up and reuse it. And then I just put it back in. That's why I said this goes a long way. And you just put it in here. That's it. There you go. There. You just got to make sure that you don't go outside of the vinyl, okay? Because then you're going to damage it. So as you can see, I, I saved a little bit, okay? Now I'm going to take this and close this up. Okay? I'm leaving my gloves on. Okay, do not take your gloves off, all right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tweezers, okay? My, my weeding tool, all right? And then we're going to take the glass, the weeding tool, and let's head over to the bathroom because we need a sink. So, all right, guys, I am taking you guys to the bathroom, it's a little dark in here. Let me turn on the light. Boop, that's better, okay? Now, I'm gonna put you guys right by this sink right here so you guys can see how I do this, okay? Leave your gloves on because this is still wet, it's activated and stuff like that. You don't want this on your, um, on your fingers or anything like that, okay? So what I do now is I just turn on the water, okay? And then you take this and just put it underneath the water. As you can see, we're doing this in real time. So this is pretty quick. Now what I do, my finger with the, with the gloves on, I'm just smushing it out, okay? So you wanna take this off. So with the plastic, I just clean it with the running water underneath, taking it out. Okay, I got it all off. Okay, now what I'm going to do for the magic is I'm gonna take my weeding tool and I'm gonna peel this off. Here it is. Now I'm taking out this. And at this point, you can take off your gloves if you want because it could just get a little hard because the cream is already gone, okay? Done. Okay. Let me uh, put this on here, take off the gloves, turn this off. All right. Okay. Let me grab a towel. here. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to dry this off. Let me dry off the inside too. Look how easy that was. See how quick? Dry the inside. And let me just take this over. Let me see if you guys can see it. Look at my J. Ain't that cute? Ain't that cute? I'm gonna use this to drink wine tonight. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Look at that, look at the background. You see my floors. Isn't that cute, guys? Simple, quick, easy. And if you don't wanna put people's names on it, put their initials on it. Put everybody's initials, you set it on the dinner table, people gonna love this. And you can do their names. So, guys, hope you like this video. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I like to share all the nifty crafts, sewing, embroidery things that I do. 
Um, this is a really, really big hit. The holidays are coming up. So, you know, if you are setting the dinner table for Thanksgiving, I'm telling you, this would be a hit. Um, let me put this back here. Hold on. Let me put this here so that way you guys can see. This is a huge, huge hit. Let me put it over here. That way you guys can see. See? This is the one with my initial. Okay? And here's the one that I did. This is what it would look like if you did a person's name. So isn't that cute? This looks really nice on the dinner table. Makes really cute gifts. Very easy to do. Not hard at all. This is permanent. Okay? This is permanent. This is not going to, you know, they can put it on the dishwasher as many times as they want. It's just a little wet, that's all. Once it dries, this you'll see the J come back and stuff. It's just a little, you know, thing. See, it starts to dry and comes right back. But this is dishwasher space. It's, it's perfect. It's, this is so much better than just using the vinyl. I know a lot of times some people use permanent vinyl and they put it on the wine glass, but that comes off in the washing machine and everything. You use this, this is actually permanently marking the um, the glass. And it's a great gift. People love it. People just love it. So hope you guys like this video, guys. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I am all about embroidery, sewing, and crafts and stuff. And I host Embroidery Happy Hour every Friday at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time where I answer a bunch of questions and, give, and share information. So, you know, yeah. Hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up and stuff. And happy holidays. And uh, happy sewing and happy embroidering and happy crafting. Talk to you guys later. Bye.